What's going on everyone? This is EK1 Gaming here and today's video is yes about Striker returning to Division 2. Man, that, that's good news. Now it is very, very good news and I'm quite excited to get hold of that gear set and actually start using it in Division 2 because I did like it in Division 1 as well. Now... I'm going to get straight into it. I think this is going to be an issue. I think this is going to be pretty bad in terms of PvP in the game, especially. Because I don't know if the devs have just overlooked this or haven't bothered to even think about it. But Striker stacks damage, right? Which I'm going to show you in a second on the, uh, on the clip. But it stacks damage, right? But what also stacks damage in the game is the Chameleon, the gun, right? So is that going to double stack? Are we going to get stacks for Striker and Chameleon? So that's going to be ridiculously overpowered? I don't know. Let's take a look at the actual stats of the Chameleon right now. So let's take a look now at the talents of the Chameleon. So the main talent is Adaptive Instincts. Now, this basically, the first part is 30 headshots grant 20% crit hit chance and 50% crit hit damage for 45 seconds. Now, if you land 60 body shots, that gives you 100% weapon damage for 45 seconds. 30 leg shots grants 150% reload speed for 45 seconds. But the thing here, 60 body shots grants 100% weapon damage for 45 seconds. Well, what if I've got Striker as well? Am I going to get 100% weapon damage from this plus these Striker stats as well? Now, as you can see, with the Striker Battle Gear, for the two pieces, you're going to get 15% weapon handling. Three pieces, 15% rate of fire, which we'll be going back to in a second. And then the Strikers Gamble, weapon hits amplify total weapon damage by 0.5%, stacking up to 50 times. So, in terms of the stack there, 50 times 0.5 is 25%. Okay, so we're going to get the 100% stack from the Chameleon, plus another 25%. So that's 125% damage. But that is not all. The chest piece talent, press the advantage, increases the maximum stacks for Strikers Gamble from 50% to 100 stacks. Okay, So then what you're going to do is you're going to get 50%. So basically you're going to have 150% damage. So with that said, look at the base damage, 15.3k base damage on the Chameleon. Okay, this is not a, a particularly kind of DPS build that I've got running here, but if you run more DPS build, you're going to get more weapon damage. But if you times that by 150%, that puts out up to 22,950. So 22.9 or 23 if they round it up. Now that's just on a low DPS build. Imagine what you're going to do if you spec into DPS on this build. You're going to get something like 25k, 26k weapon damage when you have actually got the stacks. Which is incredibly OP in my opinion. But I don't think that they've missed this, so I'm hoping that the devs actually say look they're not going to double stack or maybe that it affects the stacks in some way but we have not had that confirmed yet now in terms of rate of fire of course allegro is a massive part of rate of fire on other weapons but not the chameleon so you could obviously stack that we haven't been told otherwise if you have like a p416 etc stack that rate of fire and get maximum rate of fire and if, of, of course, you can use measured as well, so you get that extra on that. But let's talk about the Chameleon. 900 uh, RPM is basic. Add 15% from the Striker. You are now looking at 1,035 RPM. Now, that's quite a lot of rounds. That's quite, quite heavy on the rounds. But that and the stacks together is going to be so OP. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in the next video.